Welcome, everybody, to Archibald Asks, where I, Archibald, ask questions of somebody from the Bible. Now, today, you might think that our special guest would be more suited on Gardener's Question Time, what with his love of trees and all that kind of thing. But he's agreed to put down his scroll and join us for today's Archibald Asks, Nathaniel! <laughs> Great to be here. Ah, well, thank you very much. First question, how long have you been an arborist? I beg your pardon? An arborist, you know, somebody who knows lots about trees. Oh, well, to be honest, I don't know much about trees. I just like sitting under them for reading. Ah. Shade, you know? <laughs> ah, yes, yes, sorry, my mistake. <clears throat> so, how long have you loved books? Well, it's one in particular, yeah. the Bible. I can't get enough of it. All those stories about God rescuing people, his promise to send a king who was born in the town of David. Yeah. Yes, and then you met Jesus, didn't you? Mm. Uh, now, did you know who he was straight away? Well, I first heard about him from my friend Philip. He came bounding up to me, rabbiting on about this Jesus fellow, the Messiah, the promised king, the one who the whole Old Testament was about. He was so excited. And you weren't? Well, no, not really. I thought Philip was going bananas. The thing that did it for, for me was Philip called him Jesus of Nazareth. Not a fan of Nazareth, eh? Bad holiday there, or did it <laughs> rain a lot? Yes. It's true that only the people who are born and bred in Nazareth really like Nazareth. But that wasn't it, like I said. I know my Bible. The king was meant to come from Bethlehem. So if Jesus was born in Nazareth, then he couldn't be the king. Yes, I see your logic, but... Yes, is... I know now. Uh, but at the time, I didn't know Jesus was actually born in Bethlehem. <laughs> yes. So, did Philip point out your error, you know, argue you down, show you the error of your ways, all that kind of thing? <laughs> no, that's the funny thing. He just said... Come and see. So, I did. <laughs> Interesting tactic. <laughs> so, off we went to find Jesus. Now, this is where it gets strange. Jesus acted like he already knew me. Mm. He knew I was honest. And you know what he said to me? Yeah. He said, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree. And that was before Philip even came and told me about him. <sighs> was he spying on you? There's no way he was. Philip was with him before he came and got me. At that point, I knew there was something different about him. In fact, I started to believe he was the promised king. Oh, goodness me. Well, thank you so much. Oh, that's your... Oh, really? Um, well, <laughs> please do go on. He said... You believe because I told you I saw you under the fig tree. You will see greater things than that. Yes, well, I, I suppose you would. I mean, if you had the power to see things from that kind of distance, you'd be great use to the army or, or like, weather reports and that kind of thing. Or, mm. uh, yes, well... No, I, I... that's not even close. No? He said, you will see the heavens open and the angels of God ascending and descending on him. Right. I have to say I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> you know how I love the Old Testament? Oh, yes, yes. Well, Jesus said too. He was telling me about a story from the book of Genesis where our great-great ancestor, Jacob, had a dream about a ladder that went from earth to heaven, like a, a doorway to God, and the angels would go up and down the ladder. Here I see. So when Jesus was saying you'd see angels ascending and descending on him, he was claiming he's the ladder. He's the stairway to heaven itself. Yes, exactly. Ah. And it's through him that we meet God. Mm. And I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> no. And the funny thing is, if Philip hadn't told me to come and see, then... I wouldn't have known any of this. Indeed. Well, thank you very much, Nathaniel, for coming on Archibald Asks Nathaniel, yes, and sharing your story with us. And you really should get somebody to write it down for you sometime. I'd make a cracking book. Oh, it's already out. 
Really? Oh, you can read it in a book called John. It's in the Bible. <laughs> well, that is rather fine. Well, thank you again for coming on Archibald Asks Nathaniel. Until next time, everybody. Good evening.